the arcade buffet here with another K7000 chassis repair. This is uh, another chassis uh, by our good friend Xenomorph on the KLAW forums. Uh, sent this chassis to me. He PM me about it. It says he's got a couple chassis that he needs work on. Well, this is one of them. I uh, did quite a bit of stuff to this one. Uh, he sent it to me. He sent a little list of what was going on. It said blows fuses, blows horizontal output transistors, voltage regulator, and fuses. And it says need br brightness and no vertical hold pots were on it. So they were either bad, missing, or broken. One of the two. I cannot remember now. But as you can see, it works good. A uh, list of things that I had to do to it. The reason that things were being blown on it was uh, C36 was so far out of value that it was almost shorted. Uh, C36, this particular chassis has C69 as well, so it's two separate caps for the horizontal section. But a bad C36 will cause all these problems. It'll cause your hot to blow, horizontal output transistor, your voltage regulator, your fuse, and sometimes, sometimes your main filter cap will even go uh, shorted. So, put, seeing this problem before, after powering it up and uh, toasting some new parts, I put a new 36 in, C36 in, because I knew I had seen this problem before. After that, uh, did uh, some caps that were not included or done on the cap kit that I think he had done. Uh, replaced, let's see, the Molex connector for the power. I'll show you that in just a minute. It was just a couple wires that were spliced on, which is not a real great way to do it, but it works. Um, I also had to replace the uh, green cutoff pot, uh, VR203. It was loose and uh, causing the screen to flicker in and out for green. Also did some trace repair on it, which was not hard. So standard in repair. So as you can see, the monitor's been running for a while. Here's the chassis, running just fine. So, give me a little bit of dark action here. All this has been adjusted to my tube. He will have to readjust it to his tube or whatever tube that he puts on when he gets it back. Um, ignore the snow. If you can see it, that is my test station. So, chassis has been running for a good while with no issues. Colors are all nice and adjust just fine. Brightness, contrast, all. All adjustments work as they should. So if you have any questions or comments, please post them. And if you have any chassis you need to repair, especially K7000s, please give me a, give me a shout at my website, thearcadebuffet.com. And my email is thearcadebuffet at gmail.com. Thank you very much.